Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to share with you a very useful Chrome extension that can be used to build and maintain your Lightning Web Components. So if you have seen my previous video, you must be aware of the fact that you cannot develop Lightning Web Components from the Developer Console. If I click on Control O uh, and try to look for any Lightning Web Components, you wouldn't be able to see any such Lightning Components over here. When I go to the setup page and if I try to access all the Lightning Web Components that I have currently in my current org, go to Lightning Components. You would be able to see we have three Lightning Web Components, LWC, but we can't really access them through the Developer Console. Now to do any changes in the existing Lightning Web Components, you have to go through this entire process of coming to your Visual Studio Code and making some changes and saving the file and then again deploying this source to the org. This takes a lot of time and to and froze from your org to your VS code and then VS code to your org. Now there is another way of doing this if you want to edit your Lightning Web Components or even develop a new one. You can do it through this Chrome extension. So we search for Chrome extensions. We go to the web store and let's search for Lightning Studio. Click Add to Chrome and this will install this Chrome extension. Meanwhile, you can go ahead and have a look at the overview of this component. You can build Salesforce Lightning Web Components using this. Now, once it is installed, you can click on this icon right here. And from this particular tab, you won't be able to access the Lightning Studio because it is coming out as gray. Now, to access this, we have to go back to our org, click on the tab in which our org is open. Now again, click on the extensions icon and then you would be able to see that the Lightning Studio extension icon is now in blue. That means it is enabled. Click on this and it should launch the Lightning Studio for you. You see this shows the exact number of Lightning Web Components that we have in our org right now. So let's go ahead and try to make some changes. Before that, I'd like to show you where the component is. So we go to Home. And this is our component right here with two exclamation marks. Let's go to Lightning Studio and make some changes to the existing. Let's change it to five exclamations. And as soon as you click on save, you would be seeing this pop up which shows deploy confirmation. Just deploy it and it is successfully deployed. You can also see this deployment status from this button right here. It shows whatever has been deployed. 
Now, apart from this, you can also play around with the layout. You can make it dark as well. You also get the options to create lightning message channel and you can also create an uh, apex class from here. You can also create a new component. You just have to give it a name and set the targets. And once you deploy, you'll be able to create and make the necessary changes. So this is a pretty helpful extension, I would say. And whatever we have deployed, let's see if it is successfully reflecting. So we just refresh the page. And as you can see, the changes are now visible. So do check it out. This is a very useful tool. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching and do consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.